Hi, Anthony from Reads to Ledge. Did you know that we have an app that is available for iOS and Android devices? This dashboard app allows you some insight of sales totals, margins, per register breakdowns, and department performance for the day, allowing you to provide a management presence while you're not actually in the store. This app is freely available from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store for silver and gold customers. With that said, while I'm demonstrating the setup on Android, the steps are the same for your iOS device. Let's get started setting the app up. Once you download the Retail Edge dashboard app from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store, open Retail Edge. In the dashboard app on the business screen, hit the plus icon. Under location name, enter in the name of the location. This is specific to this app. So if you have a nickname for your store or the particular location you'd like to see, you can use that too. Next, on your Retail Edge system, select Recap, select Dashboard, and then select Settings. Select the toggle for Turn Dashboard Server On. Then go back to your Retail Edge Dashboard app. Under Business ID, go ahead and enter in the Business ID Serial Number field from the Retail Edge Dashboard Server settings. Next is the Password. On the Retail Edge system, enter in a unique password for you to use. Repeat this password in the Password field on the Retail Edge Dashboard app. Select Done on the Dashboard app. Back on your Retail Edge system, go ahead and set your timer. Zero equals manual mode, but you can go ahead and set the refresh time for, uh, from this system. I'm going to select five there. If you have multiple locations on your Retail Edge system, you can set the setting to send consolidated data for your locations. To do this, select the Include Locations tab and select the toggles for the locations. Next, hit Save on your Retail Edge system and then hit Done on your Dashboard app. And there we have some data that has synchronized across. Next, let's select Settings and then the Auto Timer. Uh, I prefer to leave this at zero as uh, I prefer to leave my Dashboard app on manual mode, uh, but you can go ahead and set whatever time you'd like your Dashboard app itself to synchronize. Uh, you can also toggle the sound effect for the chime when the Dashboard app refreshes. I'm going to set that to off and select Done. Now that some data has synchronized across, let's go ahead and see what information we can get. You can get some detail on the department performance. So if you select that department button, you can see the sales from your particular departments. And if we go back and use the arrow button, we can see we get a breakdown from the main location and I can select a new detail here for registers. And then this particular location, I can see the performance of each of the registers in my store. And if you keep selecting the arrows at the bottom, you can cycle through different locations. And there we have it, how to set up your Retail Edge dashboard app. If you like the information we're putting up, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that button as well. And if you'd like to find out more information about us, please visit us at retailedge.com. Have a great day.